the kid at Red Gaming Tech, and we're back to some more Lemmings 2. Uh, so let's jump right back in where we were. And hopefully the game will actually perform slightly better this time. Uh, I've put the sound, uh, the music back on, and just uh, set it nice and low. Um, unfortunately you can't independently control the music and the sound effects, so uh, yeah, the sound effects are going to be quite quiet as well. But at least there's a little bit of something in the background, rather than just strange depressing silence. So we were up to I believe level 7 of Beach Lemmings so let's just go ahead and uh, assess our next task. So I mentioned in the last part that um, I had a really crappy uh, application experience for a new job. Um, just done another application today that went a lot better. Um, had to do a CCAT test which is the uh, it's, it's the class is an aptitude test, but it's basically an IQ test. Uh, and I just got my results back. And I was quite pleased with that. Um, I think I scored like 89%, um, which is a pass. So I'm pleased with that. So tonight I'm going to do a programming test. So uh, this is kind of the part that I sometimes flub under pressure. So I've got my programming manual at the ready. And that's going to be 80 minutes tonight of uh, programming against the clock. Uh, but back to the task at hand. What have we got here? Got an entrance here. I think it's just a one entrance level. Uh, well, we're going to want to get through this tree, of course. We've got a balloon, which I th oh, I think the balloon is similar to like the umbrella in previous Lemmings games. I'm guessing we want to get ah, the, the, this little guy with the musical notes. He makes the other Lemmings stop and dance. I think so it's a way of containing them. So what we're going to want to do is get one lemming over here, have him use the, this thing to build across here. Uh, and we'll have him fence through this little beach hut. Uh, and we want to induce him to turn around somewhere here. And then we're going to want to... We're going to need to come at this from the top. Um, well, let's just wing it and see how it goes. Um, now can we then give him a command? We can. So this guy should keep all the other lemmings at bay. He's just going to carry on dancing, isn't he? I'm not sure what the range, or the effective range of that is. Um, bollocks. Uh, how can we set him going again? No. Uh, can he do that? No, he's just going to keep dancing away, isn't he? Um, so we need to find a way to stop him being affected by the dancing. So we put the music over there and have him start fencing. Hopefully he'll get far enough away from it that he won't be affected by it. So I don't think it affects every lemming on the map. I think it's, only, it's just every lemming within a certain range. No, maybe I'm doing this wrong. Let's try using a balloon and see what that does. So that makes him float. And we, okay. Uh, <coughs> that wasn't quite what we wanted. Um, let's try that again. How do we stop the balloon? No. Right, come back. There we go. Right, I think that I think we're making progress. The thing is, you really are meant to sort of think these things out before you start. Uh, and then we're going to want him to fence through here. I think. Oh, bollocks, he's turned around. Um, uh, what other tools do we have to work with here? We've got a uh, rope thing. And the main challenge is going to be getting him to turn around. Which I think the scooper might do. What if I'm just be having a scoop over here? I 
if we tell him to jump. Oh, bollocks. That was such a good plan, and it probably would have worked if I hadn't completely fluffed it. Let's try this again. I think the balloon is the way to go. And then we want to kind of slam him down. Oh, bugger. Oh, what's the button for the block thing? I have that at the ready. Up, 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 up. If we wedged him, we may have wedged him. Uh, yes, we have. Let's try that again. Locks and just fail to click on him completely. <sighs> it's one of those days. Down, left. Okay, we started a little bit early, which means we're going to have to use the uh, extra blocks. This game really does perform badly in DOS box. Ah, oh, the slowdown with the music is terrible. Right, so I think what we want to do is have him scoop and then jump to stop him scooping. But don't have him jump over the thing that he's scooping. So let him get a little bit deeper before we do it. No, he's cleared it again. I feel that's going to be an ongoing problem. We're going to have to get him to turn around a different way. We could have him start scooping here. Hmm. Maybe not. Right, so this part isn't really a problem. Would there be an advantage to having him start scooping earlier and then scoop the other way? Hmm. I think that's making it more complex than it needs to be, really. We'll give it a go. Scoop. Right, we get the button for scooping at the ready. If we have him jump, then turn around scoop in the other direction, he might, just by a pixel or two, make it through. He has. Right, so now, we just need to deal with this little issue by having him jump over it, and then put a rope going the other way, to here. And then we need to free the rest of the lemmings. I think we may have a solution there. Provided we don't run out of ways to get through here. There we go. That's one way to get through. Okay, let's fast forward it. I think we've nailed it. I think that is a solution. And we didn't lose a single lemming. I'm quite pleased with that. So we still have our 39 lemmings, and I think we're on to level number 8 of this tribe. So I don't know why level 3 was so difficult, because no level since then has been that that hard. I think maybe I just wasn't thinking the right way. Sand in your sarnies. See, the word sarnies really gives away that this was a British game. Uh, it was made by DMA, um, who later became Rockstar North. Um, so technically <laughs> the same come well... Not technically, literally the same company that makes GTA made this game. Back in 1993, I believe. Uh, the original Lemmings was probably about 1991, if I remember right. Then Oh No More Lemmings was probably 92. Right, let's take a look at what we've got. Uh, so we've got an entrance with a little platform. 
Right, beach huts. Uh, we've got to get there. Is there another entrance on the other side? See, with a lot of levels in Lemmings, they tend to give you like really extraneous areas of the map that you don't need to go to. Um, and I think this might be one of them. Because what we want to do is get them across this gap, across the... well, okay, we've got a swimmer. I'm not sure what we can do with a swimmer, because I don't... Uh, got a pickaxe, a few bashers, a stomper, a runner, two builders. Uh, well, I think if we start by experimenting with the builders, I reckon we can uh, bridge this gap here. And that solves the problem partially. Um, but now what we want to do is encourage lemmings to go down. So let's just break off that bridge. And that will contain some of the lemmings. Uh, and we've got plenty of bashes. No, we don't have enough builders to bridge this gap. Because then there's no way to get them off of here. Well, is there another way to block that gap? We don't, no, we'd need the two builders. Oh no, in fact, I think, yeah, we do have two builders, but there's no other way to block that gap. That I can see. So what have we got here? We need to get up there somehow. And can, we can't really do it by swimming to the other side. Because that doesn't really help us. Um, using a swimmer? No. Uh, we've got a runner and a jumper. What would happen if I if I didn't build that bridge? They'd all just come down here and then fall. So if I had one built, used one builder there, then had one jump over. Um, this could be tricky. Actually, I could have one jump to here, jump to there, bash through that, use the other builder to get on top of these. Oh, that's going to be tricky. That's going to be a tight one, but I think it might just work. So let's get our first builder. And have him just plug this gap here. There we go. Right, now what we want is a runner and a jumper. So we want to have one jump about here. Have him start running. And jump. No, he's not going to clear that, is he? Um, I wonder if it's possible to clear that. So we can have him build a bridge across here. But he's not going to be able to bridge that gap, is he? We need him to reach that little island. So plug the gap again, prepare the jumper, so jump, set him running, maybe jump later, no. I'm not sure it's possible to clear that gap, um, even if he is running. So we're going to have to come at it from this direction, but we can't bridge that gap there. We need him up here. So if we were to have him swim across, go through there, he would end up here. And jump, go across, jump over that. And that would bring him up here. But we'd still need to get the other lemmings there. So if we had him come down here and then... If we had him, like, dig down. Okay, I think we might be onto something. Just treat it more like an sort of obstacle course. So he'll swim across here. Then we're going to have to have him bash through this. We're going to want him to turn around there. We 
We could do it with a very carefully timed series of jumps, but uh, we're going to want to jump up on this. No, the handle's going to stop him doing that, isn't it? You have to turn around. We have to bash. Prepare another jump. No, he's going back. Uh, right. Where's he going to go if I let him go back? He's just going to go off the map, isn't he? Yes, he is. Um, let's try again. I think we're, we're, we're going in the right direction, I believe. So let's get the jump out. Set him running. If we jump earlier, no, he's never going to clear that. Let's give him the swimmer. So he's going to need to bash through this tree. But if I send him up there, he's just going to walk straight. Oh no, he won't walk straight off the map. I just didn't scroll far enough. Brilliant. So we'll bash through this. Prepare the jump, because we're going to have to have him jump here. And then we'll have to have him jump up onto that. So we'll set him to jump about here. Jump! And then let him run across here. We're going to have to have him jump that. Then he's going to come out over here, at which point we want him to tunnel down. I reckon given the angle, we probably need to start about in between these two, I reckon. And that should create a pathway up here. And then it's just then if we have him build like a bridge across there, that's probably the level sold. Although I think he's coming at too shallow of an angle. He's definitely coming at too shallow of an angle. Bollocks. No, they're not gonna be able to clear that, are they? No. Okay, right, I think we're we're most of the way there. I think I just need to have him start going from like further forward. Plug the gap, get the jumper going. In fact, we could probably save a jump there by not having him attempt that. Let's give him the swimmer now. Next thing we're going to want to do is bash. Really causes a lot of slowdown when you scroll the screen. But I do think that's a DOS box issue because that's not an issue I've ever had with this game in the past. So we need to bash through here and get ready to jump. And then we need to jump back again. Jump the uh, clam. So now it's just going to be a matter of mining in the right spot. I think I need to start about here.